a lot of you have been asking tonight, we're just talking live on Facebook about this, what kind of impact Tropical Storm Gordon might have on our ongoing algae crisis here in Southwest Florida. Four in your corners, Lisa Greenberg, getting you answers, but experts are telling her it's not exactly black and white, huh, Lisa? Well, Patrick, an expert I spoke with today says that the winds from this storm could help push the red tide off the coast of Southwest Florida, which sounds like good news, right? Well, on the flip side, the rainfall that we've been seeing all day could provide more nutrients for those red tide blooms to feed off of. The whipping winds and widespread rain making business a little slower at Michelli's on Matt Lachey. Less people are coming in. But staff say something else has been keeping customers away from all of Southwest Florida. The advertisement of the red tide along with the blue green algae. Server Heather Davis says she's seen dead fish like these wash up along the beaches of Matt Lachey. Not so much near the restaurant, but her coworker says it's still putting a damper on business. They hear waterfront and they just think that we all have, you know, bad water. So with Tropical Storm Gordon bringing rainy, windy weather to Southwest Florida, will it help red tide or hurt? Dr. Greg Tolley of FGCU's Department of Ecological Sciences says the answer is complicated. With bigger storms, it was a series of storms. There's, uh, there's been some of these preliminary link. Uh, to keeping the red tides around longer or making them stronger. But Tropical Storm Gordon is a small, quick-moving storm, which makes predicting its effects even more difficult. So let's start with the bad news. Anytime you have large pulses of rainfall, you worry about extra nutrients coming into coastal waters. And red tide feeds off those nutrients. On the brighter side, the fast offshore winds could push the red tide, or at least its stench, away from the coast. Move the red tide maybe a little offshore, keep the aerosols off offshore for a couple of days um, so that people don't get as sick. Notice he said a couple of days, so unfortunately... I doubt that it's going to be a long-term solution to this red tide. And people working at Michelli say they hope to see a long-term solution soon since tourism is such a key moneymaker here in Southwest Florida. On Matt Lachey, Lisa Greenberg, Fox 4, in your corner. Thank you, Lisa.